Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and I'm doing a little bit different. Hopefully I can put this on YouTube with my computer and just gotta figure it out and I will. But welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that button below. But today is Sunday Talk and I'm doing it early today. today. It is 4.10 my time and right now I just want to talk to you guys about what's been going on where I live at. Right now we have fires that are burning, of course, you know, in Colorado, and I am definitely close to them where all it has to do is just reach the top of the mountain, which is horse tooth, and you see that big thing up top. It's like it look, it look like basically like a tooth, we call it horse tooth. And all it needs to do is hit right there, and it's like dang, it might pass the water, which it seems like so far it is passing the water. And I'm like, shit. So your girl had to pack some clothes for the kids and had to, you know, get paperwork. My mom had to get paperwork, like important paperwork and some water in the car, like kind of survival stuff where I got a first aid kit in my car anyways. I'm also going to put some snacks in the car. And everybody thinks are, are in the car, but some things I'm going to leave out until it's time to go. If they say, hey, it's time to evacuate, we can just grab it and go. I never thought my I never thought I'd be in a situation, but I am, and it's still burning. So it's kind of like okay, it was cool today. Uh, it was raining, the kind of little bit like snowy, a little bit, but it was raining. And I'm so okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, so yeah, so I'm I'm good. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Not good at all. So it's like okay, so I need to. I basically I'm giving myself another seventy two hours. Just to see what's gonna happen so me planning things it went on the back burner for sure with um i'm supposed to go out today have mommy time and also i was gonna meet up with the kid's father and just talk and chill and just see where we both are at and see if we can compromise with some things you know we're grown adults we can do what we want to do and but at the same time in the day i want to make sure we are working as as a team and see where we go from this point but I counseled on him because not because I didn't want to see him it's just because that things change the fires are the fire is still burning is closer to me than him and as well as my mom I is red for some strange reason is red and it hurts so I was like oh. I'm also like, no, I don't, we can't go out. I was like, well, why not? I need time to myself before I blow up. Okay. And I wanted to go shopping for the kids as well. So that changed my plans. So which I'm going to probably try and go out for the kids this week. And probably Wednesday or Thursday, maybe even Friday, to get some of their stuff um, that I want to get for them a feast of dedication just because I'm not for sure that stores will be open. You know, people say, oh, they'll still be open, but COVID-19 as well is still booming in Colorado and cases are going up. So I'm like, great. We're dealing with fires. We got COVID-19 going on still and my mom is sick. And I'm like, all this stuff is hitting me full blown. It's like, ugh, there's no break. So I have to manage trying to buy, get a job, which... It's kind of hard with a single mom and my crazy schedule, but somehow I'm trying to make it work and see who'll take me. Um, so homeschooling kids, it's not easy and you trying to keep up with work, which I still need to do over there. I have stuff to do, which I didn't get to do yet with the um, kids and um, what else? Oh yeah. And just trying to potty train a three year old. Yeah, she's three. She's basically is potty training so sometimes she might forget to go to potty which they have accidents which is okay so she is potty trained kind of but when the fire is starting to hit close it's kind of like dang so i have to bring pack diapers make sure those wipes in the car and all that stuff but besides that um this election is coming up make sure i put my ballot in the bags so but we're going to drop it off monday Go out and vote if you haven't. And dealing with that, it's just like so much. It's like boom, boom, boom. It's like you got this election coming up. 
where it's like, dang, do I need to, like, be prepared for that? Because, you know, people going to go crazy. We ain't going to be stupid right now. You know, people going to go crazy. You know, people might, uh, like, do something dumb. It's, it's like, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Either way, shit's going to pop off. So it's kind of like, dang, should I get extra food? Yes, you should get extra food. Because you don't want to be like, I ran out of toilet tissue. Or, I ran out of Lysol. Oh my goodness. Ah. But for me, it's like, I actually needed wipes. I wasn't a person that likes to hoard things. So I'm like, okay, let me just get what I need. Not overload. But when everybody else did, I'm like, dang, y'all leave no toilet tissue. No wipes. That ain't cool. That ain't cool. But I found me some. <laughs> I found me some around that time that was happening. But they think another wave is going to hit. So it's like, this is a lot. And of course, people that had to evacuate from the fires that was up there, they probably all their goods are gone. Like they actually had ready for like a, um, for like something like this happening again of COVID-19, you know, of like people, you know, running out of food or having their, you know, essentials, it's gone. It's burned up in the fire. So it's like, great. Now they are like having to deal with that and their home is burnt. So that sucks, you know? And we're just, I'm just praying that, you know, basically it doesn't hit us to where we have to evacuate because that means that I literally, everything is going to be gone, burnt up if they're not able to control this fire. And you know what? If I, basically it's y'all's will, not mine. So whatever happens, happens. And with my mom, um, I don't know if you guys watched my other video. If you haven't, check, check that one out because it's a little bit more of an update of my mom. And, uh, yeah, the cancer's not gone, but I still have hope. I'm still going to keep praying. I'm still going to be full blown out. Like, let's do this. Keep praying. Get my prayers up. Do what we got to do to get her healthy. And the cancer gone, you know. Um, I'm just dealing with, like, a lot. So, yes. And you know your girl want me time. And I will want to have another person, like a spouse or um, another adult, like, to be able to hang out with. But COVID-19 has actually made a dent in that. So I'll do a video on that after this video for you guys. But right now, yes, that's just, this is my Sunday talk. And for Sunday, I mean on Saturday, which was yesterday, we read Isaiah. Darn. Oh my gosh, I wish I had my Bible. I'm like not prepared for this right now. This sucks. But we read Isaiah again, and it was, no, hold on. Wait, one second. I'm going to get this Bible. All right, guys. I believe I found it. I got my Bible, as you can see. And we read Isaiah. We started at Isaiah 52 and read all the way to Isaiah 56. We stopped at 56. Verse 8, we stopped there. So that's what we, we was reading. Uh, it was a good read. It was getting out, you know, getting out of um, this, uh, what you call it? This, um, the tip of my tongue, I can't even remember how to say it. They go, getting out this bondage that we are under right now, this curse. Um, but yeah. So we read about that, you know, everything's happening at once and we got to stay prayed up. We can't, how to put this, we don't want to miss that boat. You don't want to, how can I put this? You don't want to like go, you don't want to go the wrong way. People are partying, people are still like, Oh, you know, we're good. Nothing's going to happen. We have the young being crazy. We have people going out there doing loosey loosey stuff. Mm -mm. We have people don't believe in the most high and just it's crazy. You got, you know, people that are getting into witchcrafts and all this other stuff to where it's just begun. And I'm like, oh, okay, we can do this. Um, Staying prayed up is very important in this time. It's just the beginning. This is not 
this is something that's about to blow up in our faces on November 3rd. And November 3rd is going to be the fate of America. It's like Babylon is actually might just fall before our eyes. And we're going to be like, what the freak just happened? And there will be the currency of our money will be zero. It'll be worthless. And we'll be like, what just happened? So, prepare my mind for that. It's very difficult. Um, and now I'm trying to make sure that some things are right with my soul because I'm not perfect. I have done things I'm not proud of, but I believe in Yah. I believe in Yahshua. I believe um, Yah forgives people. Uh, he is not, Yah is not a person, I meant person, sorry. Yah is not here to punish us. I understand why he did what he did because you know it had to be done and it's a lesson learned and but he did not forget his people he did not forget them and I love how I read in that in those in those verses that I gave you Isaiah 52 all the way through Isaiah 56 is that he loves us he's coming back uh, we're going to have some slaves, but we're going to be mistreating our, our, our slaves. You have to know the difference between a Gentile and an Israelite and his chosen people. That's something that you have to battle with. That you have to be like, okay, this is what it is. And also, I remember reading something, I think in Matthew, I'm not for sure, which verse uh, or what even what, um, what book it was in. But I remember something like he um, there would be um sorry oh we can't be salty you tell you it's good or bad you with you with yah or you with satan you with yahshua or you with satan it's not no in between you can't be um you cannot be um what's it called warm there's no warmth at all so i'm trying to get prayed up because mm, i do not want to miss that boat if i miss that boat I'm gonna be hella sad. I'll be like, hey, no! Type of thing. What's up? What is it? Close the door. You coming in or no? Close the door. Sorry, guys. Huh? I can't mommy. Okay. Sorry, she's basically not having the balls on. Take one door. You know, she just likes to be a wild child. Anyways, y'all, um, you can't not be a mukwarm and we just throwing all these things out there. This world is going crazy. All these different things are happening. It's happening right here in Open front the door. of me. Hold on, guys, one second, kids. Open. I guess I didn't want anything. I guess I didn't want anything. But anyways, back to what I was saying. It's basically we all need to just get prayed up. Get ready for what's going to happen because we have no idea what's Mommy, going to be. Right I have no idea, baby, but, but close the door, please. No, 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 no. Okay, close the door. But either way, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I hope you guys are enjoying this Sunday video today. As I'm not going to record tonight just because I'm not for sure what's going to be happening tonight about the virus and everything like that. Oops, sorry. But, yeah. So... Hope you guys enjoy this video. Take care. Shalom. <laughs> and um, I'll see you guys next Sunday, hopefully. And yeah. All right. Take care. Bye. <laughs>